So, how much website traffic do you want within the next 30 days? 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000? In this video, I am offering you a blank check. You just tell me how much website traffic you want to your blog, your website, or even free traffic for your affiliate marketing within the next 30 days and let me get it for you. Okay, since you will be the one doing this by yourself, then let me change the promise from I'll get it for you to I'll show you how to get it right in this video. And just if you want me to do this for you, then you can just hit me up. My contact is in the video description. So, you love to get Let's say at worst another 5,000 organic traffic to your website, your blog post or affiliate. Then let me show you this powerful Quora ChatGPT hack that gets you flood and flood of organic traffic to your website the quickest way ever. So sign into your Quora account and if you don't already have a Quora account, just go to Quora.com and open one for yourself. So here am I in my Quora dashboard but before I continue, I actually created a complete seven part SEO checklist for you if you have a website and maybe this whole SEO thing is a bit confusing and you just need a quick list of things that you need to do to optimize your website for SEO step by step. Then this checklist is for you and it's absolutely free. It's perfect for both SEO expert or you don't even know anything about SEO at the moment. If you'd love to have it, then click the download link in the video description. It's just a two-page PDF. You will find it very useful and like I said, it's absolutely for free. So back to Quora dashboard. Now, I want to look at this. Congratulations, your answers had 105 views in the past week. Okay, check this one also. Congratulations, your answers had 109 views in the past week. Now, this in itself is surprising to me because on this very Quora account, I have not done anything on it in the last 365 days. I mean, the last time I was active on this particular Quora account was over one year ago. Yet, I was still able to gather over 200 unique views in just the last two weeks alone. Now, this means that for over one year that I have not been active on this Quora account, let's say I'm even getting an average of, say, 100 views every week, doing absolutely nothing. I am still well able to get 100 times 4, which is about 400 visits every month. And by extension, 400 times 12, that is about 5,000 visits. Hey guys, I have been doing nothing like I told you. So obviously, it's been my activities over the previous year that are still getting me this unique visit, even to this very week. Can you imagine that? Now, just imagine if I have been active on Quora, let's say once every week for the past one year. Can you guess or imagine what my traffic visit will be by now? Now, let's just say, fine, I am active just two times every week. What do you think will be happening by now? Now guys, let's say that I decide to be on steroid mode and I am active, let's say one hour every day or at least most days on Quora in the last one year. Just one hour or so every day. I can tell you that with this estimation, I should be getting nothing less than 100,000 unique views on this account every month, guys. This is no joke. You can see it for yourself. Now, this is in fact one of the primary ways I get constant web traffic for my clients. Now, what we want to do is to redirect most, if not all, of this free organic traffic to our website or blog, all coming from our views on Quora. And if you are an affiliate marketer, this is even a free traffic source for your affiliate marketing program, guys. Now, let me show you an extended data of this account. As you can see here, I was able to gather 463 unique visitors to this account in the last 30 days. Remember, I have been doing nothing here for over one year stretch. Five thousand seven seventy eight visits in the past year and over twenty two thousand visits. So, what if I have been active for the past one year, guys? What do you think will be happening to this account and by extension to the amount of web traffic that I will be receiving on my website from this account? Now, that is the whole idea here. Number one, you want to be active on Quora. 
maybe every day, maybe twice in a week. It all depends on how much time you have or maybe how desperate you really want these hundreds of thousands of free organic traffic to your website or blog or your affiliate product or your affiliate website. Number two, I've been mentioning active, active on Quora since the beginning of this video. The question is active doing what? Now, let me show you. Now, look at this. This is October 22, 2022. Now, on this day, I provided an answer to the question, how much does it cost to buy a domain name on GoDaddy or Namecheap? So, just in case you don't know so much about Quora, let me quickly bring you up to speed. Quora is the most popular Q&A platform on the internet. People come to Quora to ask real questions and they want real people to give them answers in real time. People ask all manner of questions on Quora. So don't be scared because you too will have questions here that your website article will be able to provide answers to. So how do you come in here as a website owner or a blogger looking for free organic traffic? Good question. You are here on Quora because you want to provide answers to people's questions and not just that, you want them to go and read your blog articles which has been strategically written to provide answers to the question that people are asking in your niche. Just if you're doubting the popularity of Quora, according to similar web statistics, Quora is getting about 788 million visits every month. So this is a website you really, really want to take seriously. So how do you go about answering people's questions with the aim of redirecting them to your website? It's simple. Like you see here, you don't just want to answer any kind of questions, right? You really want to answer questions based on your article topics or your article blog post that you have already written in time past and you want to make sure that there are eyeballs on those blog posts or you can also write your new articles with that view in mind. So what you should do here is that personally, I advise website owners to spend at least one hour on Quora every day. So if you can and you really want this traffic like seriously, you should do the same also. Then the next thing you should do is for you to list out a number of your existing articles for each week that you want traffic to get to. You could target say five articles per week. Then using the model I use there, you see, I already have a published article on my blog with the title Cheap Domain Names. And in that article, I have affiliate link for both GoDaddy and Namecheap domain hosting all over. So I'll just come back to Quora homepage. I'll come to the search bar here and I will type in a keyword that I think suggests my blog article topic. In this case, I will try out domain names and then search for it. Now, these are the different questions that people are asking about domain names. Now, Quora gives you an opportunity to filter these options as much as you want to. So for instance, I can decide to filter by questions here, meaning that the result I will see here will only be questions that people are asking. Now, another good filter you can use is to filter by the age of these questions. So if you want all time questions, you can select the all time here. But by my own personal rule, if I am searching for a very popular topic, I usually filter by weekly. This means I will only see questions that people have asked about this topic within the past week. Also, depending on how popular, I can filter even by day or past hour. Just know that if you do that, you will find less questions to answer. But the advantage is that you will be answering very fresh questions and you will be one of the first you know, persons to answer those questions. So your best option here will depend on how popular your search topic keyword is. So here you can see that in the past hour, no question has been asked with regard to domain names. This is reasonable, right? So most times you can play around past month, past week or day, all depending on how popular your topic is. So usually after setting up your preferred filters, you really want to answer as many of these questions as possible. But the trick here is to make sure that your answer relates strongly to the blog article that you want them to go and see. Always remember that. So now, if I want to provide an answer to this question, I will simply click answer here. So the question says, is it possible to get a free domain name? Now, I will not bore you with the kind of answer that I will provide here, but I will show you what you should be doing. Number one. 
You really want your answer to stand out because remember, you will not be the only one providing answers to this particular question. So as much as possible, you want your answer to be the best. And the best way to achieve this is to make sure that your answers are very visually appealing, irrespective of the quality of your answer per se. But you always want to try to spice it up with visuals such as images, graphics, infographics, and quotes, and maybe industry facts and figures. These things are proven to always help catch readers' attention. Then, while writing your answer, make sure that you embed your website or blog article links into your answers in a way that will make your readers to want to further get more details from your attached link. I'm sure you know how to go about making this happen. In fact, you should add more than one link to each of your answers, but make sure that you do it naturally and in a very appealing or curiosity-inducing ways that will leave your readers with no other option than to click on your links and be redirected to your website because at the end of the day, you want all of this traffic to be moved from your Quora account to your website or blog. That is the whole idea. So, you must take advantage of this free traffic, guys. And the good thing is that even Quora support this strategy. So, how does ChatGPT come in here? Remember, I told you that you cannot just answer only one question and leave. If you really want to get traffic to flow into your website like a swarm of bees, you have to put in the work and answer as many questions as possible. Before now, this used to really be challenging, answering a lot, a lot of questions, maybe within one hour or two hours or thereabouts. But not anymore. Now that AI is changing the game for us, we have to take advantage of it. So if I were you, I will identify similar questions like this example I gave you now. All I'll do here is to copy out this question and take each one to ChatGPT to help me with answers. I don't have to start trying to answer each of these questions by myself. That can really wear me out. So just pick each question, come over to ChatGPT and ask your dear AI to answer the questions for you. But of course, you should remember that the whole purpose of Quora is that people want real humans to help them with solutions to their problems. So you should always try to edit your ChatGPT answers before supplying them to your Quora audience. Then, since most of the questions you will be providing answers to for each day are always similar anyways, then you can always use similar visuals and images for several answers and you don't have to create new images for each of your answers. But you really, really want to answer as many as 5, 6, 7, 8 to 10 questions each day. Just make sure to add your website article links in the best possible ways to each of your answers. Guys, you don't want to miss this information. This is very important. And I assure you that this works like magic. And it's one of the easiest way to blow up your website and blog with traffic in no time. In fact, this is one of the easiest ways I constantly get traffic for my clients. And that's what I'm sharing with you here, free of charge. So, how long does it take for you to start getting results? Now, this is the sweetest part of this strategy because this is not your usual SEO strategy that can really take a while to get results. This means that you can begin to see real-time traffic in less than 24 hours, even if your blog articles are not really that SEO optimized. But of course, just like in every other digital marketing strategies, your consistency will always be tested. I already show you how I have been inactive on this Quora account for over one year and yet my previous activity is still working for me till date. But that only happened because I have put in a lot of work in time past. In fact, I already had over a hundred answers before I went inactive on this account. But the good thing is that even now that I have not been working, my previous hard work is still working for me. So make sure that you are at least consistent for the next three straight months and then you can measure your website results. You can also hire a spa to do this for you just if you don't have the time to do so. You can check up on my contact details in the video description if this sounds like something that you want someone to do for you. I promise that you will take your website, your blog or company into the next level if you go serious on this strategy. You can count on me for that. And finally, you should also find a way to make sure that you retain these website visitors so they can become regular visitors to your website and not just one-off readers. So to do that is simple. You can use the concept of push notification or use lead magnet to get their emails and then you can use that to make sure they are always returning because you'll be sharing your content with them as you publish them. I'll share more light on this in subsequent videos so make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you have not done so already. 
So, I want you to give this strategy a try and let me know in the comment section if you think this really makes sense for you. If you got value from this video, please give it a thumbs up, share this video so more website owners and affiliate marketers and business owners can see this amazing information. Thank you for watching this far and I'll see you in my next video.